Hi everyone, welcome back to System DLL Tech. In today's video, I'll show you how to fix missing MSV1160 CP10.dll error. Now this error is usually caused due to the DLL file being either corrupt, missing or is deleted. But don't worry, I'm going to explain 4 proven methods to help you fix this DLL error. Let's look at each method in detail. The first step is to manually download the missing DLL file. To do this, open your browser and go to this link. You can find this link in the description of this video. Next, scroll down to this section where you can find the DLL file to download. Select download. Save the file. Now you need to extract the contents of this zip file. To do this, right click and select extract all. Alright, so next you need to open C, go to Windows folder and here you need to find System32 folder. So here you can find the System32 folder. Now place this DLL file inside this folder, select continue. Alright, now that the file is placed inside the System32 folder. You can restart your PC and run the application again to see if the DLL error is fixed. Before you start with the installation of Visual C++ Redistributable, you need to find out if your OS is 32 or 64 bit. To do that, click on the search icon on the taskbar and type system information. Open the first result and next to system type, you'll be able to find this information. Next, open your browser and open this Microsoft link. I have again shared this link in the description of this video. If you scroll down, you can see x86 and x64. x64 refers to 64 bit and x86 refers to 32 bit. So I'll open this link and download the VC++ redistributable file. Once the download is complete, I'll start with the installation. Just accept the terms and select install. Once installation is complete, close this window and run the program again to see if the DLL error is fixed. Now even after installing the latest version of VC++ redistributable, you still face the DLL error, then you can try installing the previous versions of VC++ redistributable packages. To do this, open Microsoft website. And now this is a different link, again I've shared this link in the description of this video. If you scroll down, you can see 2012, 2010, 2015 and 2013. You can try installing all these versions. Now the logic behind this method is that a couple of DLL files come with the previous versions. So installing all these packages will help you fix the DLL error. System File Checker is a powerful tool that fixes any Windows related errors including DLL errors automatically and it comes by default in Windows 11, 10, 8, 8.1 and 7. Now to run the SFC scan, click on the search icon on the taskbar and type CMD. You need to open command prompt in administrator mode, so select run as administrator. Please enter the following command. As you can see here, the SFC scan has begun and it will take quite a couple of minutes to complete. So you need to wait patiently and once it is complete, you can restart your system and run the application again to see if the error is fixed. If the SFC scan did not fix the missing DLL error, you can try running the DISM check next. Now DISM is used to repair Windows installations by replacing damaged or missing system files so that you don't have to reinstall the Windows OS all over again to fix system related errors. Now to run the DISM check, you need to open command prompt in administrator mode and execute three commands. These commands you'll find in the description of this video. As you can see here, I've already executed the three commands. Uh, the reason being it would take around five to 10 minutes for the entire execution to complete. So once you've completed executing these commands, you can close command prompt, restart your PC and run the application again to see if the DLL error is fixed. Once you've completed all these steps, you should be good to go and your application should now run without any missing DLL error. Do tell us in the comment section which method worked out for you 
and if you have any questions or suggestions feel free to ask us hope this video was useful for you and thanks for watching